as I said, if you sacralize your, your political ideology's heroes, you cannot think straight. And this is where we are in the sciences. It's obvious that if you're, if you're a, 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 a social conservative, uh, a, a evangelical, young earther, creationist, you probably shouldn't be going into a PhD program in biology or geology, okay? It's just gonna be really hard for you to deal with reality if you deny evolution and the age of the earth, okay? Uh, you shouldn't go into American history if you say America is the greatest country on earth and it simply cannot have committed war crimes. We just don't do that. I mean, that's, that should be a disqualification. But what about on the left? Um, suppose, you, uh, suppose you had students coming in who deny that IQ matters. Uh, not anymore, but for decades, it's just very uncomfortable because there are race differences in IQ. The general view is IQ is a bad test. It doesn't measure and it doesn't matter. We can't allow that IQ matters. Uh, because IQ is heritable, we can't allow that heritability matters. Uh, environment has to be everything. Uh, the left has always believed that environment can overcome everything else. So uh, can you do social science if you deny heritability? You think everything is environment when it isn't? Um, the left is full of sex difference deniers. Uh, hormones are fine for other animals. Hormones affect behavior in other animals. But how sexist of you to suggest that male and female differences could in any way be due to the fact that they are exposed to different hormones prenatally. That just is ruled out of bounds. Now, it's not that the left denies evolution. That's fine for other animals. But evolutionary psychology? Well, that's almost sexist and racist. No, evolution didn't shape human beings. Um, and last, the biggest area in my field is the study of stereotypes and prejudice. Um, and we're trying, it's an important social problem, but we try to solve it while not allowing anybody to even mention the largest cause of stereotypes and prejudice. There is a small research literature showing that the reason why people hold stereotypes is because they're accurate. Most stereotypes do correspond to some measurable, observable fact about the environment. Now, they're often misinterpretations. The stereotype often lingers long after the reality changes. So I'm not saying that stereotypes are perfectly accurate, but I'm saying a big part of the story is that people are really good at detecting differences between groups. We're intuitive Bayesians. We pick up frequencies. We, you can't stop the brain from doing this. So suppose you had a whole group of people coming into social psychology who were the equivalent of young earth creationists who say, I'm going to study stereotyping and prejudice, but I'm going to just rule in advance that there are no differences between groups. And now I'm going to study what's left. That's where we are. So my point is that all groups value the truth, okay? Every ideological group believes it values the truth. All groups hold something sacred. And if you hold something sacred, then as I've said, no trade-offs, no nuance. That means that your sacred values are going to conflict with the truth. And when that happens, all groups are the same. They throw truth under the bus and they go with their sacred values. And that's where we are. So I hope I've shown you uh, that political homogeneity, now that we no longer have conservatives in some academic fields, it's a problem. It's bad for our science. We need to clean up our act. Uh, we talk a lot about the value of diversity. Uh, intellectual diversity is the most important kind of diversity there could be. And I hope, finally, I've answered for you why it is that social justice has a bad name in much of the country. Um, so how could anyone not want social justice? I'm not denying that selfishness and racism are part of it, but I'm saying that there are some valid moral objections. Why do conservatives distrust scientists, and especially social scientists? Uh, well, there are some slight differences in need for cognition. There are some reasons why liberals will predominate. Uh, but a lot of the distrust, as I've shown you, is because there are objections to the politicization of science, especially the social sciences. Um, so um, I hope then that I have inspired the Duke University family uh, towards ever greater achievements in social justice, uh, which I hope will mean uh, it's time for re-examination. The 60s are over and done with. We have a new set of challenges, much more about class than race. Let's think about what it means. What, what does justice really mean in this day and age? Um, uh, and let's think really carefully before we claim to enlist science as being on our side. Uh, thank you very much. So, thank you.